the big point here is, is about bringing them and connecting them back to their marae where all the, uh, the centre of our hapu, the centre of our people, um, where all the history lays within the, within the four walls of our whare uh, and also the elements, our whenua, the lakes, uh, the rivers, the sea, allowing them to experience physically um, the the kōrero that we left uh, from our tipuna many years ago. I expect to um, gain some experience in terms of the history of what's happened here and and how our elders lived and just to gain insight of um, their, their roles and how we can um, as angatahi incorporate that into the modern world. As samurais, they stop twice. Samurai, they stop three times. But, you know, especially, uh, I heard uh, Rapata talking about, oh, all girls came to these morais because they're the teachers. What he meant by that was, the queers used to tell us what to do. And they, they're still trying to do that to us too, eh? <laughs> It's an honour to be a kaikarana for your marae and representing your whānau, your people, your hapu, your marae, you know. Our kaikaranas always stand on this side of our marae. There's two sides to the marae. Hey, this side is our tanata whenua side, the wahi iti, you know, the narrow side of the whare. And the other side is the tahatapu where the our manuhiri goes, okay? So the other side is the wahi tapu, you know, you always give plenty of space to our, to our manuhiri. I am at Te Arakairangi because my, my uncle um, gave me the courage to come on this program to find out more about te kanga, um, have the confidence to do other activities like going on a waka on the Timata Maui waka. I actually dared myself to go on like a part where you get wet the most. <laughs> and yeah, it was hard to balance on the waka, but it was really, really fun. I think this camp is a good idea because it's, because I'm trying to find my cultural identity. And coming here, I'm learning about tangu, my well, my marae. And it's, yeah, it's just good to know everything about this because it's pretty much home. What George and all the family members are doing for us, Rangatahi, is really helping us to find our inner self, our whakapapa, and being in the, being in the pathway our, our tipuna were in. And it's good to figure out who we are and where we came from and the descents we are. We just walked to the beach and on our way to the beach we got told about a song, um, Tiro Tiro Kawai. Yeah, we learned about that song. So she went down to the bottom here and she stood there and she sang Tiro Tiro Kawai from her heart and uh, that's how we get this song. The information that they've been given about their whakapapa, about their pepeha and their relationships uh, with the marae, with the hapu, with the iwi, uh, with the whenua, is just paramount and it's important that they know. It's important that our ranga, uh, rangatahi know these connections that they have, the history uh, pertaining to their ancestors. Part of Te Arakairangi is that we will try our best to walk around the takiwa or around the boundaries of our tipuna by taking the rangatahi from our central point here, our marae. We will move up to uh, Lake Tutira, the wayu of our ancestors. It's been real cool. We've all got to know each other 
a bit better and learn about our history and live and breathe that. Walk where our tūpuna used to walk and learn about what they did back in the day and we sympathise for them because we moan about climbing up little ass hills and they had to go up and over and up and over and up and over with the two papaku over their um, shoulder so that was really, they kind of like inspire us to be more motivating. We just finished kayaking to Tera Lake. As you can see it's big, it's beautiful and it's hot, it's really hard work. Um, oh it was fun, really. Lucky we didn't capsize. Nah. <laughs> Oh, the Wailanga safari has been excellent. We've been having heaps of fun. Heaps of fun together. We came here not knowing anyone, and then once we got to know each other, it was all good. So now we're having a lot of fun together. My favourite whakatauki that I have would probably be um, Ki mai kue ki o hi atame nui o te ao, ma kue ki atu he tangata, he tangata, he tangata. If you, ask, if you would ask me what is the most important thing in this world, it would be, I would reply, it is people, it is people, it is people. Kia ora. The thing that I've enjoyed the most since we've been since I've been here was probably doing uh, on Lake Tutera doing the kayaking. That was it was the best experience that I've had in a long time. To help me become more independent and also to help me increase other people's knowledge of what we're learning about. It's been massive, it's been amazing. It's a great experience for everyone and yeah, it's still more to come. It's been a really good experience. I mean, like learning more about my other side of the family. Well, like it's you know it's really good knowledge. It was a really good day. It was um, different and um, scary on the high ropes. But I still like overcame my fear and went on the high ropes. And I did a team one as well. We had to help another person go across. That was really hard, but I still did it. <laughs> I think the best part about it is just being with Fano and being able to be on the land that our tupuna were on and just experience, you know, a little of what they had to go through. I mean, they didn't have much as, you know, what we had. They had to create a lot of things themselves, but it's been awesome. Definitely would love to see our babies doing a lot more of it. I mean, a lot of our, our tupuna used to just, you know, the, their pepes, their children would come everywhere they went, you know. And it's hard work, but, you know, we've, we've got to learn through that and teach them what we're getting taught too so that they can see it with their own eyes because the best learning is with your eyes you know not not just word of mouth and hearing what people have to say if you can experience and see it you can feel it a lot more better and that's definitely what I felt too. So the Whakatauki Kakatia Mangaharu Katufira Tangitu Katia Tangitu Katufira Mangaharu Te Hei Mauri Ora you know that's what epitomises this whole um, experience just learning about um, the whole rohe from, from the mountain and Mangaharu to the sea and seeing how um, our ancestors and tipuna, how, how they uh, how they operated and lived day-to-day -day life and you know just getting um, insights or in terms of the um, different sites of significance. We understand that our tipuna had a very good connection with our with our with our land with the Maunga and some of the things that they engaged in we no longer can these days so we engage through these other methods, the modern day methods like the rock climbing, the caving, the gorging, activities that are, are suitable for today. I was easy at the start, but um, coming through on this on the slippery bit, trying to find holes, where you put your feet, it was a bit hard and it was challenging. I try not to use the rope as much, but um, yeah, it was a really good experience. It was. It was good to learn something, you know, outdoors and now in the native. I had to shuffle my legs like sideways and I was scared that I might slip. But once I got like good gripping and trust, trusted my feet, then I was able to get through. And yeah, that was probably the hardest challenge to overcome. I'll do it again because yeah, it was funny as just a bit scary at the same time. But now that I'm down, I just want to get back up again. <laughs> uh, we just got back from caving. Um, the entrance was a bit hard. We had to squeeze in little gaps. 
Um, and there was a few big girls with us who fit too, like we've fully done it. There was glow worms, um, the wetters were disgusting, there were giant cobwebs. It was hard, it was cold, the water came up to about our hips, but it was awesome. And there was a lot of fun, a lot of slipping, a lot of sliding in some deep water. Yes, that was really good. I done the gorging, there was probably about eight of us. Um, the first thing we did was go down our track and jump straight into a tunnel full of water. And then we just followed our, um, our awa down, our stream down, and this had to find ways to get through the water, the rocks, climb along, sit on your bum, wiggle down. We got to the um, waterfall and the, all the water was coming down and um, got real wet. All the water came, like the most water was like up to here. And yeah, it was a good experience and our tutors were cool. Um, always had us, but we had to keep in line with each other so we could make sure that everyone was safe. And no, uh, yeah, it was a good experience. I made it, I'm still alive. <laughs> uh, but the, it, the environment was beautiful as well, even though it was raining, um, yeah. Being out in the maunga and uh, learning the history and you feel like you're amongst it because you, you're out there, you're living there, you're camping there sort of thing and um, amongst your whanau and you, know, you go back into our modern world and into society. It's, yeah, it was a different feeling but you know, I guess it just shows the impact of you know, how much we're learning and how much you know, we're giving towards the, the kaupapa. On the marae, we work as a collective. We pull together as a hapu, as a people, and we get the job done together. Um, everyone's helping, um, everyone from Te Arakairangi is helping wherever they can be, and uh, yeah, it's been good. The kitchen's all clean now, so we can have a rest again, go for a swim. I was just then hanging down at the river having some fun, jumping in, chilling, <laughs> cooling down after a hot day. You know, it's good to know that you can stand here in the shores and um, I think that's the good thing that, that all the rangatahi are learning is that you, know, you belong here and you should be here. In all the history lessons that we've been uh, going on over the last couple of days, um, that kind of stuff is just priceless, you can't buy that stuff anyway. So I've been on this Te Arakairangi course for six days now and it's been a very awesome experience. Um, this course has actually gotten me out of my comfort zone a lot and I've tried so many things I didn't plan to do in one whole week. Well we have experienced from the last six days of this one and it's pretty much a live photo of what our tipuna used to do to survive on our whenua. It's been really awesome connecting with everything spiritually, emotionally, getting to know myself. It's been really awesome. It's pretty much giving us experiences of a lifetime which money can't buy. To allow these young people to to connect back to their roots, connect back to their, their tūranga waiwai, their marae, uh, their whenua, uh, and their rangatira, all their elders that we still are lucky to have around, uh, that still hold on to that knowledge. You just cannot go and buy from a book. And I'm absolutely delighted to be out here on the Tongue Marae to celebrate the, the, the incredible job these young people have done by getting through this course. Not an easy thing to do, been under a lot of pressure, but it's great to see them come through and I can see how they've grown over this week. George has done an amazing job and everybody feels so empowered and so much improved by this course and I commend it to all young people. Take it.